Hello everyone, I'm Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to talk about whether or not you should take aspirin every day. This is one of those things that pharmacists get asked a lot. Have you been told to take a baby aspirin each day? Should you do this? Low-dose aspirin therapy can be used in some people to lower the risk of heart attack and stroke. But just like all drug therapy, aspirin has side effects. The big one with aspirin is bleeding. As we age, most of us have a higher risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. The problem is the risk of a GI bleed due to aspirin therapy goes up even more. So what determines whether you should be on low-dose aspirin therapy? The first thing is whether or not you have had a heart attack or a stroke in the past. The second factor we look at is your risk of a heart attack or stroke. Many factors can increase your risk, including hypertension, whether or not you smoke, diabetes, and if you have atrial fibrillation. The third factor is your age. As a general rule, your doctor may recommend low-dose aspirin therapy if you're 40 to 59 years old and are at high risk of having a first-time heart attack or stroke, or if you have had coronary bypass surgery, have ongoing chest pain that's due to angina, or have had a stent placed but have not had a previous heart attack. If you are younger than 60 and have diabetes and one or more additional heart disease risk factors, you may also benefit from low-dose aspirin therapy. If you have had a heart attack or a stroke in the past, you may be a candidate for low-dose aspirin therapy as well. Your doctor may choose to put you on a different type of blood thinner instead of aspirin, depending on your risk factors. So how does aspirin help prevent heart attacks and stroke? Aspirin reduces the aggregation of platelets, which decreases the risk of clot formation. Clots that are formed may break loose and block vessels in the brain, which will cause a stroke, or in the heart, causing a heart attack. If you are taking aspirin on a daily basis, be very careful when taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen or naproxen. This can increase bleeding risks even more. Other drugs to be concerned about are warfarin, anoxaparin, apixaban, rivaroxaban, adoxaban, and dabigatran, and others. Check with your pharmacist before taking over-the-counter medications along with aspirin. Remember, it is always best to check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking low-dose aspirin. You may not be a candidate for this therapy. If you have any questions about this video or any other video, please send me an email at michael.brown at sunshinentc.com. If there is a particular topic you would like to learn about, please put a comment in the comment section of this video, and I will see about recording a video for you. If you know somebody who would benefit from watching this video, please send it to them. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more happy, healthy living content.
I'm Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be 